Good day, YouTube. Today is the 23rd of April, 2024. And this is my LT150. John Deere, I can't remember what year it is. 03, 05, something like that. Um, we've done some videos on it. We've rebuilt the deck. We've put carburetors on it and so forth. And we're about to deal with carburetor number five. Yes, carburetor number five. I was always a big proponent of just, you know, buy a... a you know cheap chinese carburetor off of amazon and throw them on and they've always been good for me i've always had good luck with them but i'm having horrible luck trying to get a carburetor to hold this and i say carburetor number five i'm not joking so the original carburetor on this thing um didn't didn't run the engine good and was flooding out i bought a you know a aftermarket carburetor put it on and uh it flooded the engine also so I ordered, and, and the way I work is I get these tractors and I do a parts list and then parts come in and things sit for a while because I got so many things going on. And uh, so by the time I get around to use the carburetor, it's three, four months down the road sometimes and well, I can't return it. So I ordered another one and it came freight damaged. Well, not really freight damaged. It was damaged in an undamaged box so at the factory uh somebody crushed the thing stuck it in a box and shipped it out what i mean quality control didn't exist so i did return that one and got another one put it on and uh, it didn't do well either it was flooding and or something and so i grabbed the original carburetor back out of my box where i keep them and uh, I cleaned the carburetor. I did what I could with the needle and seat. Couldn't get it to hold. And that is where we are now. Um, I don't know that this will start because it floods out so bad. But I'm going to try to get it to run enough to get it in on the lift. I don't have to push it. Um, I can't remember. I think I I might have pushed it in place. i got to see if the rod is in or out. Okay, right now it's out. So... Now it's in. So if it starts, it will drive. I think it's going to not drive. I think we're not going to get very far, but guys got to try. All right. Whoa. My right rear tire's a little low. It'll go though. All right. No choke. Believe me, it ain't gonna need it. Maybe it will. Carburetor not happy. Really gassy. Really gassy. Alright guys, we're going to 
put a carburetor on it. So this time, the only thing I did different is I bought the absolute cheapest one on Amazon. It was like $13.60 or something. And it just came in yesterday, so there it is. I'm going to put the cheapest carburetor I could get on it because I've done tried to buy the most expensive one thinking it might be better, but I don't think it's better. I think it's just a few dollars more, $25 instead of $13. So let's uh, get some tools out. Let's get the air cleaner off this thing. Let's get that carburetor swapped. See if it'll run better. Here we go. All right, let's get into this. Grab my stool. These are pretty easy to deal with. Thank goodness, I've done it a million times on this machine alone. Well, I don't know why I always take the filter out. You really don't have to bolts are right there it'll all come out as an assembly but yeah, I always do it why quit now why quit now ten millimeter socket will do you Take this off. There's a breather tube on it. Like that. Take the fuel line clampy off. We'll slide it up. Take the fuel line off with your fuel line pliers. Oh boy. There we go. Take the carburetor off. You get it off real careful. Don't bend the linkage. I think we pull the choke off first. Like that. And then the throttle comes off that way. You got that little bushing that the new carburetors never come with, which is unfortunate. So we'll take this out of here and put it on the new carburetor. Don't break it. Don't lose it. I'm going to squeeze that on the back side to get it out of there. There we go. Okay. Gasket is new, so we just want to leave it there. For some reason, I had two gaskets on it. I don't remember why. Oh, I do too, because I think the uh, throttle plate stuck a little bit on a something, so I put it on there to space it out. No sense experiencing that again. The air cleaner gasket is stuck because it's been ejecting fuel. Okay, we're gonna put this bushing, the keeper, the linkage machine here back in the new carburetor on the throttle plate. Come on. There. And we put the throttle linkage back on first. Now there's a, a slot, a slit in this keeper that the linkage pops through. So you want to wind that up so when you slide it in, you don't hurt it. Yeah, I didn't get it perfect, did I? Come on. There we go. 
There we go. Choke a second. Slide it back on. moves put the fuel line back on it and slide the clamp back up like that uh, airbox back on gasket no gasket gasket Plug the crankcase bent back to the valve cover. My nuts back on. Think this one will run better? Cheapest one on Amazon. Filter again, a necessary step. We'd be done by now. We'd be done by now. All right, what'd that take? Five minutes. All right, let me set my tools away. And we'll see if it runs better. Hopefully it runs right. I had this machine sold, but it wouldn't run that day. I'll set you over here, how's that? It would not run that day. It ran good the day before. Remember how it ran? We gotta pump some fuel up there.
think we're gonna look at the drive belt though. I think I think I looked at it and it looked pretty good, but I think there's a bad spot on it. So. We're hauling now. I one sixteen. running thank goodness all right guys thanks for watching the video appreciate that give me a thumbs up on the way out share it with a friend and if you're finding this because you've got to do a carburetor on a it really any coal or command but especially the john deere lt series pretty easy to do and uh, i guess my recommendation now is buy the cheapest carburetor you can on uh amazon because I've been trying to buy middle of the road or the higher end, and uh, they didn't work where they darn. So, anyway, thanks guys. Catch you on the next video.